And I think you have to say, for as pretty much competitive as it was that entire first half, really no need for a timeout. Now, Cuyahoga Heights had the first five of the half. Ended up making it a nine-point game. And when you're Lutheran West, get your first two and try to stop the momentum for the Red Wolves here with a full-court press. It's now Levis all over Walton. Now McClarity really faced a double. Still across half court. All the way across the court to Davies. Walton head fake. Davies has it. Really forced behind half court. Noble with a steal. Two on two break. Derek Fairley lays for two. And now Lutheran West with the last four. Great defensive pressure there by Lutheran West. Forcing the turnover and then getting out in the open court. Getting Derek Fairley the ball with a nice finish. And, and a five second violation right on cue. Talking about that defensive pressure. And the Longhorns looking to make it a one possession game. Derek Fairley right there again on that inbound pass, just causing havoc and other players for Lutheran West not letting anybody get open for an easy inbounds. Fairley nine assists. Last night against Archbishop Hope and catch and shoot triple Levis well short. Davies corrals the rebound. Able to find McClarity. Three on two break here at the moment. But McClarity will stop in his tracks and find Walton. Walton drives, jump pass, wide open, Biggers three, that's good. Eli Walton doing a great job of just starting off that offensive possession with the drive and kick, and then on the low block, turning and finding the open Biggers in the corner. Nate Biggers with six for the Red Wolves. Foul line J, short from Kambamba, and the Red Wolves are gonna make it a double digit game. McClarity takes his time. Defended closely by Derek Fairley. Nearly tipped away from McClarity into his own student section. Davies to Walton. Levis watches. Switches on to Braylon McClarity. Had 12 in the first half, steps back the triple. On the money, what a shot from McClarity. There goes that man again. Started off the, start off the game hot with a couple of three pointers. Getting his name right back in the mix for the Red Wolves with the big three. He's got a game high 15, Matthew Meyer right at the rim, couldn't get it to fall, almost between a layup and a dunk, and ended up short. 11 point lead for the Red Wolves. McClarity calls for a screen, uses one from Biggers, pull up Jay. That is good, and Braylon McClarity feeling it with 17. A great high pick and roll right there by the Red Wolves, and they went under the screen and there was a little miscommunication there on the Longhorn defense as McClarity was wide open for that mid-range jumper. Now a 3-2 zone again from Cuyahoga Heights. They, they're sticking to what they did well in the first half. And Clay Noble, looks like he had his arm grabbed on the floor and a foul called on Cuyahoga Heights, their first of the half. Longhorns opting to go for a little bit more shooting off the bench, bringing Dylan Barchak back into the game leading the second on the team beg your pardon for the Longhorns and three-pointers made this season. Subs on both sides. Zach Kolaris in for the Red Wolves. And long inbound goes to Levis. He scoreless. Somebody who had 18 points against Archbishop Hoban last night in a thrilling, ultimately one point loss for the Longhorns. There's a lot of contact taken. On the interior by Joshua Meyer, he draws a foul. A bit slow to get up, but looks like he's okay. Nate Biggers disagrees with that call, saying I was just standing still in the pan and he ran into me. What else do you want me to do? And he'll now take a seat as Biggers now. Multiple fouls to his name. And a long inbound into the backcourt for Levis. Allowed to get it there, so that's where he'll start the possession. Lobs it over to Fairley. Fairley just two points on the evening. And here's Bartchak. Has yet to score tonight. Fairley, nice bounce pass inside, and Jason Levis finally on the board with two. And maybe that'll get Levis going a little bit. We had the same kind of play with the game against Lutheran East. He really struggled to get the offensive side of the ball going for him, but in that third quarter, he started hitting shots and scored eight points in the third. Off the mark from deep was Kane Davies. Full court press does its job for the Longhorns. Here's Noble. 
Back to Fairley Levis. He's someone who can get hot in a hurry, just has to get that first one to go. Noble doubled and fouled. Noble, the 6'3", 218 senior. Quite the athlete, the starting quarterback. Again, I mentioned in the first half for a very productive Lutheran West football team this past season. A oh, nice fake inside, wide open two for Josh Meyer. Probably can't get any easier than that. That was a great job by Josh Meyer there, just splitting the double and getting his way straight to the bucket for an easy two. McClarity, looks like he had a look for three, didn't take it, tries to wrap around bounce pass, but stolen in route by Josh Meyer. Fairly fakes the triple, underhand feed, Barchak swishes the triple. And a timeout called by head coach Michael Tartara, a full timeout, and the first of the night for the Red Wolves as they now lead by just six, 2.41 to go in the third.